this video we'll share the top 15 things to do in Rotterdam. At number 1 we have the Cube House Rotterdam. These architecturally intriguing set of houses were designed by Piet Blom, with each cube tilted at a 45 degree angle. The design offers a unique living experience, with each house resembling a tree and the entire complex representing a forest. Visitors can explore one of the cubes to experience the innovative interior design and understand how residents navigate the unusual angles of the walls and windows. At number two, we have the Erasmus Bridge. This iconic bridge, nicknamed the Swan for its graceful design, spans the Nieuwe Maas River, connecting the northern and southern regions of Rotterdam. It serves not only as a vital transportation route, but also as a symbol of the city's resilience and modernity. At number three, we have the Markthal Rotterdam. This architectural masterpiece serves as both a marketplace and an office building. Inside, you'll find a vibrant and bustling market with over 70 different businesses, offering a variety of food, drinks, and unique products. The ceiling showcases a stunning artwork by Arno Koenen, featuring colorful fruits, plants, insects, and flowers. At number four, we have the Maritime Museum. Located near the Markthal and the Cube Houses, this museum boasts a vast collection of maritime artifacts, art, and memorabilia. It offers visitors a glimpse into the maritime world, with exhibitions featuring navy uniforms, ship figureheads, and paintings of significant sea battles. At number five, we have the Rotterdam Zoo. Also known as Deergaard Bleedorp, this zoo is home to a wide variety of animals, including the Asian elephant, a moor leopard, and Sumatran tiger. With themed areas like the Chinese garden and Malayan forest, it provides an engaging and educational experience for visitors of all ages. At number six, we have the Euromass Tower. Standing tall at 606 feet, this observation tower offers panoramic views of Rotterdam's cityscape. Visitors can dine at the tower's restaurant, stay at the hotel suite, or even engage in thrilling activities like zip lining and abseiling from the tower. At number seven, we have the Depot Boijmans van Buningen. This museum, located in the Dijkzicht district, is one of the most significant art museums in the country. It houses a diverse collection of art from renowned artists like Van Gogh, Dali, and Rembrandt, providing a rich cultural experience for its visitors. At number eight, we have the SS Rotterdam. Once known as the Grande Dame, this retired ocean liner now serves as a hotel and museum. Visitors can take guided tours of the ship's bridge and engine room to learn about its operational history and appreciate the lavish decorations that characterized ocean liners of the past. At number nine, we have the Phoenix Food Factory. This venue is a haven for food enthusiasts, offering workshops, tastings, and markets that promote fresh local produce. With offerings like freshly roasted coffee, home-brewed beer, and a variety of cheeses and meats, it's a delightful spot for gastronomes. At number 10, we have the Grote of St. Lawrencekirk. This historic church, constructed in 1449, is the only remaining example of medieval architecture in Rotterdam. With its high vaulted ceilings, decorated arches, and rich religious artwork, it provides a serene and spiritually enriching environment for visitors. At number 11, we have the Europort. Recognized as one of the busiest ports in the world, Europort is a testament to Rotterdam's significance in global trade. Visitors can take boat tours to witness the immense cargo ships, keys, and storage facilities, gaining insight into the scale and operations of this industrial marvel. At number 12, we have the Kinderdijk's Windmills. Located near the village of Kinderdijk, these 19 restored windmills are a UNESCO World Heritage Site. They not only symbolize Dutch engineering and heritage, but also provide picturesque views of the surrounding countryside and canals. At number 13, we have the Rotterdam Central Station. With its iconic triangular architecture, this transportation hub connects Rotterdam to various destinations across the Netherlands. The station's modern design, coupled with elements from the old station, makes it a landmark worth visiting. At number 14, we have the Vita Huis. This Art Nouveau building is one of the few structures that survived World War II in central Rotterdam. Its white facade, ornate turrets, and decorative roof make it a distinctive and historically significant landmark in the city. At number 15, we have the Rotterdam Boat Tour. Offering a relaxing and informative way to explore the city's ports and harbors, these tours provide insights into Rotterdam's maritime history and industry. With modern boats and engaging commentary, it's a delightful experience for tourists. So that sums up my top 15 things to do in Rotterdam. I hope you enjoyed.
If you did, please leave a like on the video, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.